My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Google Drive and in particular at the Shared Drive. We're going to go over some of the main differences between My Drive and Shared Drive and why you might use Shared Drive. So let's dive into it. Now the first thing you'll need to do is open up your Google Drive. Now you can see here I have a brand new Google Drive open and ready to go. At the moment, this is completely empty and there are no files whatsoever in my Google Drive. On the left hand side you'll see those two options, My Drive and Shared Drives and the My Drive is where I will store and create my own files. Now I can have as many files as I want in My Drive but these all belong to me. I don't share these files, I can share if I choose to but I don't have to. The Shared Drives however is a very different type of storage. That storage doesn't belong to myself. However, this belongs to different teams. Now Google gives a number of examples as to why you might want to use shared drives. Some are projects where everybody needs access to the same files, events where people only need access for a limited period of time and then you remove that access, or maybe it's to store some of your templates. Let's say that you're a school and you have a number of different templates that every member of staff needs access to, well, you can place those within a shared drive. Let's have a look at what a shared drive looks like and how do we add members to that shared drive. First thing we're going to do is click on shared drives. Now you can see it is a place for teamwork and that means that every single file placed within a shared drive does not belong to a single person. However, that file belongs to the team. So if you create a shared drive for a summit, well then every member added to the summit team drive will become the owner of that file. So let's go ahead and create our first shared drive. We're going to click on this button, create a shared drive, and we're going to title this Online Summit with Apps Events. We're going to add a summer to that. There we go, and we're going to create this folder. Now, if you want to find out more about our upcoming summits, make sure you check out that description below where there will be more information about summits. Now here you can see that we now have this online summit with AE Summer and there is only one person in this shared drive. I can add people to the drive and I can add files to this drive. So now let's go ahead and add a file to this drive. We're going to create a brand new file. Let's say that this is a Google document and we're going to title this document planning. There we go. We're going to title this file and then we can just close it. You can now see that there is a single document within that shared drive. When I jump back to my drive, I do not see that document because I am not the owner of that document, but the shared drive is the owner. So when I go to shared drives, you can see I have one shared drive at the moment. And when I go into that, that's where that document lives. I am not the owner of that document. Everyone who's a member of this shared drive is an owner. So now let's manage our members and let's add some members to this shared drive. I'm going to click on manage members and we're going to invite one more person. So let's go ahead and invite another one of my demo accounts. There we go. We're going to invite this person as well. Now we can notify this person with a message. I'm not going to do this right now, but I am going to look at the different permissions because for a shared drive, it is slightly different. We can make these people viewers. That means they have access to all the files within that shared drive, but they can't change any of the permissions. We can make people commenters, similar to making them a commenter for a individual file. We can make them contribute that means that they can add their own files and they can edit files. We can make them content managers. That means that they can also move those files around and delete files. And then finally, a manager. Now the manager can change all the settings and also add and remove people. So you can see there's some different permissions here that are very specific to the shared drive. I'm going to make this person a content manager. So we're going to leave that as content manager and then we're going to share. As you can see now, at the top, we'll see that there are two people in this shared drive. And when I go back to my main shared drive menu, you can see here there are two people. However, going to my drive, still no files here because I do not own any personal files. When I go into the shared drive, I can see there's a single file there. Well, let's go ahead and open up that other user and let's see what they see. We're going to dive onto the drive of the other user. And you can see here they have access to that online summit with AE Summer. When they go into that shared drive, they see the file I've already created. And because they are a content manager, they can also add a file. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to add a 
Google Sheets to that shared drive, signups, and then we are going to close this file. You can see now we have the planning AE summer and we have that signups file. Now because it's a shared drive, I don't have to share anything because when I jump back to my original account, it's right there. Everything happens seamlessly and I can now open that file and I can start editing it. So Share Drives is an incredibly easy to use platform within Google Drive. The only thing to remember is that there are no individual owners for these files. There are only shared owners. That means that every member of the team is an owner of these files. This is great for a project where everybody needs access to these files. Maybe it's an event where people need access until the end of the month and then you remove that access. And if you remove a person from the shared drive, they automatically lose all the access to all the files stored on that shared drive. If you add a person, they automatically get access to every single file stored on the shared drive. So if you have hundreds of templates ready for your teachers, adding your teachers to that shared drive allows them to quickly find those templates, copy them and use them in their classroom. Now I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to scroll down to that description below, find all the links and more additional information about Apps Events and Acer. I will leave some links to some upcoming summits as well. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what you would like to see next. Are you using shared drives and what are you using shared drives for? This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. And in the meantime, thank you for watching.